Hello and welcome back. Remember where we left last time? We left talking about Rosa's family. And remember, Rosa's family took tostadas. What are tostadas? Well, tostadas, first, tostadas come from Mexico. Rosa's family comes from Mexico. Mexico, or Mexico, as they say in Mexico. Okay, Mexico. Many Mexican dishes are made from tortillas. Tortillas, okay? Um, the tortillas are toasted or fried. So tortillas, if you look at tortillas, these are tortillas here. This woman is making tortillas. Look at the tortillas. Did we see something like that before? Yeah, we did. Remember in India, we saw the chapatis? Chapatis are very similar to tortillas. A little bit different in taste, though, right? And tortillas are toasted or fried, fried in oil. They are, they, the tortillas, right, are served with toppings, served with toppings. Topping. Think about topping. What do you put on top of something? Those are toppings, right? If you have ice cream and you put little candy on top of your ice cream, maybe some chocolate syrup, those are toppings. So toppings are food that you put on other food. Well, here's food, tortillas, and you put other things on the tortillas, toppings. What kinds of things? Here we can see beans, chicken, salad, avocado, cheese, lots of things, lots of different kinds of toppings on the tortilla. They are served with fillings too. So we have toppings on top and we have fillings which is inside. Remember the sushi or the kimbap? Inside those are fillings. Okay, if it's on top it's a topping. If it's inside it's a filling. So two different things. They're served with fillings too. So tostadas are made from tortillas. And these are tostadas. Mm, they look delicious. I'm hungry. Okay. The tortillas are topped with refried beans and salsa. Salsa is over here. This is salsa. Salsa is made from uh, tomatoes but also mixed in with a few other types of vegetables and some salt and other spices. It's very good, actually. Salsa is good. Um, salsa. And they are also topped. They are topped with lettuce and avocados. We can see the lettuce, right? And we can see the avocado. This is avocado right here. It's kind of a fruit. It's a soft fruit. It has a, a pretty good taste, but it's very common in Mexican, um, in Mexican food. And you can see the avocado fruit here. The avocado has a big seed, just one seed right in the middle. Don't eat that. Ow, you hurt your teeth. But you can eat the fruit around the avocado. And it's very good. It's good. So these are tostadas, right? And these are, first you have tortillas. These are your flatbread, right? Then you have refried beans. Now these beans have been mashed, right? These beans haven't been mashed. They're just, uh, they're whole beans. But if you mash the beans, then they look like this here. This is salsa and that's your avocado. By the way, uh, we talked about, I do want to back up just a little bit. We talked about toppings and we talked about fillings, right? These are toppings. Tostadas have toppings. But there's another common Mexican food that has a filling. If you take the tortilla and you wrap it in a circle and you put chicken and avocado and lettuce and salsa inside the tortilla, then you have a burrito, right? A burrito. And that's a, so that's the difference between toppings and filling. A burrito has fillings. A tostada has toppings. So just to back up there, okay? And of course they use a lot of the same ingredients. Okay, so Rosa's family is bringing tostadas to the party. 
Finally, we have Liam. Liam、uh, lives at at Seven Oak Street. Where is Liam in this picture? Can you find Liam? Here is Liam right here. He looks like he's from America, right?、Uh, his family took a ladybug cake to the party. A ladybug cake? Do you know what ladybugs are? Ladybugs are tiny insects, very small insects that fly around, especially in the spring, and they have these red wings and black dots on them. They're very common. I, mean, I know you've seen them before. Ladybugs. They brought a ladybug cake. A cake made from ladybugs? Blah! That's horrible. That's disgusting. Don't worry, it's not a cake made from ladybugs. I'm just kidding. Nong dam heo, okay? It's not a ladybug cake. It looks like a ladybug, okay? I'm sure. I'm sure it's chocolate cake and red frosting. It's delicious. No ladybugs are in this cake. Don't worry, it's just chocolate cake, okay? Okay, we're just joking. Okay, so his family took a ladybug cake to the party. It was Liam's birthday party. That's why we're having the party. It's his birthday. Maybe he's nine, ten, eleven, maybe twelve years old. I'm not sure,、um, but it's his birthday. Happy birthday, right? Chuka hamnida. Okay,、uh, Liam was six years old. Actually, he's six years old. <laughs> I should have read the rest, the next sentence. He's six years old. So Liam is six years old. He looks kind of tall for six years old.、Um, but they're having a party, and because his neighbors, all these people live on the same street, they are neighbors, and they're very nice neighbors. They're getting together, and they are having a birthday party. For Liam, that's very nice, and his neighbors are from many different countries. That's something interesting about America. In America, there are people from all sorts of different countries, right? So in America, remember, it's not just Europeans that you'll meet. People who came from Europe, you'll meet people from everywhere. You'll meet people from India. You'll meet people from Japan. You'll meet people from Mexico, right? You'll meet people from all sorts of countries, and they all have their own traditional food. They bring it with them, and so they can have a very international street party. Lots of different foods, and it's for Liam's birthday party. It's very special. Everyone sang him happy birthday. They sang him happy birthday, or they sang happy birthday to him. Okay, so it's Liam's birthday party. That's why they're having a party. And remember, the ladybug cake isn't made from bugs. Don't worry, it's chocolate cake. Okay, let's review. The food at the party came from different countries. Came from different countries. Like I said, many people in America came from different countries, so they bring their food with them. Many countries have their own food. They have their own food. What food would you take to a street party? Probably you would bring Korean food, right? You would bring some kinds of Korean food.、Uh, maybe you could bring uh, uh, kalbi. Oh, that would be great at a party, right? Kalbi,、uh, wang kalbi, um, machi soya, or something like that. Or、uh, you know, lots of different types of food. But these are different types of food that come from different countries. Let's just go over them. Some of them we saw before, but some of them are new. Spring rolls are from China, and we can see the country's flag here. This is the Chinese flag, and of course we can see spring rolls. We call these spring rolls. I'm sure these are common in Korea. Also, probably have a different name for those in Korean. Do you know this food? Do you know this food? Maybe. Of course you know this food. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Everybody knows pizza. Pizza's everywhere. Where does pizza come from? Pizza comes from Italy. That's their flag there. Hot dog. Now, hot dog. Sometimes I see hot dog places in Korea, but not very common. Pizza is much, much more common in Korea than hot dogs. But kakam, kakam. May I see some restaurants selling hot dogs? Hot dogs are American. They come from America. They're not really that healthy, though. So, you know, I don't know if you should eat a lot of hot dogs. 
be careful there. Anyway, hot dogs are from America. Now, what country is this? This is Turkey, right? Turkey. And it says Turkish delight. Turkish delight. Delight is something that makes you really happy. If you're delighted, you're very happy. Turkish delight sounds, ooh, that sounds really good. Well, this is a candy. It's kind of like a, a little bit like a jelly, and it has sugar around it. And if you bite it, it's very sweet, but very good. It's like a dessert. You eat it after your meal. Don't eat Turkish delight for your meal. It's dessert after a meal. Okay. Here we have this. Of course, you know this, this flag. This is the flag of Switzerland. Don't say it's from, it's from Swiss. The country name is Switzerland. Switzerland. Something from Switzerland is called Swiss. So a person from Switzerland is called a Swiss. Or cheese from Switzerland is called Swiss cheese. But remember, the country is Switzerland. Don't get lazy and just say Swiss. That's a common mistake. Switzerland. Okay, you know this flag here? This is France, and it's a, uh, looks like some kind of bread. It's a croissant. Croissant. <laughs> okay, it's a French. Americans say croissant, but the French would say croissant, okay? <laughs> because it's a different language, and they don't pronounce all of their letters. That's, that's French. Okay. Next one is New Zealand. Okay, we know this flag is from New Zealand. And, of course, you know this one. You know that. Kiwi. Everybody likes kiwi, right? Kiwis are very common in the supermarkets here, and kiwi's a good fruit. Sometimes a, it can be very it can be very sour, so you got to make sure your kiwi is is uh, old enough so it tastes good. Because if you get a young kiwi, it's very sour. Ooh. Okay. Anyway, next one, this is Canada, of course. Canada <clears throat> maple fudge. Maple fudge. What's that? Well, Canada is famous for maple trees. In fact, that is the maple leaf on their flag. It's a kind of a tree. And this kind of tree, <coughs> the, the sap or the juice that comes from the tree is maple syrup. And it's very common that they use it on pancakes. You have syrup, maple syrup. Oh, it's very delicious. But you can also make candy from the maple syrup. And this is fudge. It Again, it's soft. It's Kind of similar to Turkish Delight, but not as sweet. Uh, but maple fudge, uh, it's, very, it's very good too. Again, this is just dessert. Don't eat it as a food, <laughs> right? You'll get sick. Don't eat too much. Uh, always be careful with candy. But as we can see, <clears throat> there are many kinds of foods here from many different countries. Each country has its own food, okay? So think about that uh, when you want to have different foods, what country, and what kind of food can you eat from that country? Okay, well, I'm hungry. I think uh, it's time to eat, don't you? I'll see you next time. Take care.